So, hello people, how you going today? So, I have these five cent coins, and you're probably wondering what is so special about them. Well, in this video, I'll just discuss a little bit why these coins are a little bit special. Well, let's get into it. So, hello people, my name is Glenn, and I am a coin collector, I also sell coins, and I also like to teach people about different types of coinage from around the world. And today, well, we're just going to have a little discussion about five cent pieces. So, what is so special about five cent coins? Well, practically nothing really. These coins are pretty standard issue. They are all to your kidney issue, but you do get exceptions as well. So here I have coins from the 60s and 70s. And in this video, I wouldn't worry about any coins after the 70s. So anything from the 80s until current, I wouldn't really worry about it, except for those coins that, you, that were not released in circulation, like the 1985 and 1986 five cent coin which are only available in mint and process. So, when you get a five cent coin, and you get one that's, that is like this, uh, there you go, you can see the full crown's head, and you can uh, see it's in pretty good condition. Well, what I do is I get, you know, group of, uh, I don't know, four coins. So here I have a, 66, 67, 68, 69. And I throw them on eBay, probably about uh, two or three dollars, and they usually sell. So, for the price of 20 cents, you can actually sell these for, well, we'll just say about three dollars. So you're actually making, oh, two dollars 80 minus, so uh, probably two dollars 40 minus the eBay and PayPal fees. So, you're actually making money on money. And for coins that people generally throw away, if you have a lot of these coins, you can actually make a bit more pocket change. Um, but, there are some coins that I would not throw in as a lot. So, let's take this coin here. This is a... 1974 so this has a mintage of uh, ooh, 64 million but have a look at the grade the grade is quite high it's quite good so would I throw that in a lot of coins no I would not I'll probably just sell it by itself so book value uncirculated is $45 but because this is the low grade probably sell this one for um, five or ten dollars depending on what the going rate is and uh, that's what I would sell that coin for how about the other coins let's have a look uh, 1970 46 million 71 there's 39 and a half million 72 so I did make another video on this coin this is actually the lowest minted five cent coin released for circulation and is 8.25 million. It's still a high coin mintage, but with Australian collectors, this is one of the decimal coins to actually get because it's actually hard to get in circulation. And it's actually hard to get in um, high grades. The actual proof sets and uncirculated sets cost a lot of money. So to get them in your change, you will not actually... Uh, be able to get and well that has a uh, and book value of a uh, what did I say $45 oh sorry the 1974 is a book value of a uh, $5 this one has $45 so I would sell that one for five bucks and probably sell that one by itself for like one or two dollars see that's another thing people even though you're a coin collector, you do make mistakes. 
And how about these uh, late 70s coins? Well, these generally have a high mintage, like this one, 1977, has 100 million coins minted. Uh, 78 has 25 million, 79, 44, how about 76? He has 113 million, so, wow. That's a uh, pretty high mintage for that. Actually, the uh, first coin with over 100 million coins in minted. Or should I say, the first 5 cent coin. So, would I sell these ones? Well, I try to, but generally you're not going to sell them. So, if you get any of these, in, uh, as you can see, they're in high grades. Uh, just spend them, because it's really not worth keeping. Uh, and as you can see, these coins actually have a lot of circulation. For the coins that are below 1975. Anything above 1975 generally has light circulation. So if you look at the uh, Echidna's paw, you can see that this one is flattened, which is a pretty normal condition for coins before 1975. And after 1975, as you can see, the wear on this coin is actually minor. And why is this the case? Well, because of the high inflation in the 70s and early 80s actually um, reduced the circulation value and the circulation time of these coins. So, people... That is what you can do with your five cent coins. Uh, anything before 1975, I'll keep. And if it's in lower grades, I'd sell as a lot. If it's in higher grades, I'll sell it separately. Anything above 1975, yeah, I'd just probably respend them. And um, before inflation actually reduces its value a lot more. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and just check your 5 cent coins in change, even if you're just a tourist here. What's the harm? Have an awesome coin collecting time, people, and take care, okay? Bye-bye.